All right, YouTubers, this video we're going to do a little uh, review, overview. Maybe not a review because we don't have this product in hand, but an overview. Talk about the features of this here Asus Prime H670 Plus D4. Now, as you are all aware, 12th Gen Intel has been out for a while now. Z690 is currently the only motherboard you can buy. Of course, there is also going to be B660, H660, and H5, H610, or 0. H610, H670, whatever, however you want to say it, right? All right, so this one, surprisingly, does not appear to be as awesome as the last B660. B660 that we looked at, right? There's some differences here. Now, we could look at the tech specs all we want. Maybe we'll look at that. I want to get into looking at some of the photos, folks. But let's see if the tech spec page works first. Now this isn't really on my list of motherboards. I, I have a tendency to stay away from the the H370, 470, 570, and now the 670. But you never know. So you see they repeated this twice for emphasis, I think. LGA 1700 for 12th Gen, Intel Core, Penny Gold, and Celeron. So this is going to run, I'm sure, even the i9-12900K if you want it to, right? But will it overclock? No. Will not overclock the CPU. So you would probably not want to do anything better than a i9-12900. Supports Turbo Boost. Yeah, the last ones did too. 2.0, 3.0. Four dim slots. This is only DDR4 where the B, B660 that we looked at is DDR5 all the way up to 6,000. So I'm not sure why people would even be interested in this one. Um, this might be one of the more affordable ones, but usually if it's a ends in 7.0, it's not. Dual channel, XMP, all, you know, same crap. Um, wow, this one doesn't even support 8K at 60, like the b660 does so i'm not i'm not really liking this one no pci 5.0 um no ddr5 folks this one this one sucks all right so m.2s 4.0 series to gen 4 Gen 4. They might have three Gen 4s in here. Kind of hard to tell. The B660 did not have four or three, excuse me. Here's all your uh, USBs, folks, if you care. So many USBs, it's hard to keep track of, right? Now, they actually tell you how many fan headers there are. I should review this before I do my unboxings. Got one CPU, one for AIO pump, three, four pins for case, okay? This one does not have a one by eight and a one by four, something else the B660 did. So, can't really take advantage of power limits quite the same way. For SATAs, that was similar. Dressable, RGB. All right, folks, let's, uh, let's go ahead and look at the pictures. And this one doesn't have gallery, so it looks like we've got to open these. And that is coming in big. All right, so, here is your 1x8 CPU power, okay? Here's your LGA 1700. 
Now, notice, folks, in case you're not aware of this, this is not the way 11th, 12th, 8th, 9th, 7th opened. Um, this thing still pops off, but this thing, look where the hinge is on this side. So it's a little different. The plastic piece actually has to be removed beforehand, okay? And something, something looks weird in this photo right here. See that LGA 1700? <coughs> Once again, sticking with, you know, if you're going to have one set of two RAM, preferably the same kind, um, you're going to use DIM A2, DIM B2, okay? That's the ones in light gray. And if you have a second set, obviously they're going to go in A1, B1, okay? 24 pin power connector, USB 3.0. So they put these both next to each other. Ooh. So this is good for a case that has, say, four USB 3.0s on it, okay? Now, I'm not seeing type C Charlie connector over here for the case, but here is the SATAs. And they are, these are uh, one one level high, and then you have these over here, okay? Four SATAs all together. Here's one of your fan headers. We skip. Usually there's like one up here somewhere. Some RGB. And usually there's a uh, CPU fan header here. Weird. They've put it over here, folks. There's where your CPU fan is in this example. And the AIO pump. They have labeled this PCIe. Um, so this is way cheaper than the last motherboard we looked at. Fan headers here. Here is a USB 2.0. And then you can see the name there for that guy. More RGB. This should be your uh, HD audio. Whatever these guys call it. So 4.0. And I'm not sure. can't really read what that says. We just looked at it. Whatever it said these guys are. If it said they're all 4.0s. Which I think it did, right? You see it right there at the bottom. Oh, I've got twos. No, um, doesn't look like there is a heat sink for them. There's a spot for a Wi Fi card. And there is no um, setup here for running your cables to an antenna. CMOS battery. So, you know, not a very exciting motherboard. This is, you would expect to be a budget one. It's kind of plain vanilla. Doesn't interest me at all, to be honest with you. Unless I get desperate. And believe me, I get desperate for uh, motherboards on this channel. Let's look at the side. Actually, let's look at this angle. So, line out, headphone, microphone, a bunch of USB 3.0s, different versions. HDMI, display port, USB 2.0, Type-C, and LAN. I don't know if this was uh, 1 or 2.5, but there you go, folks. Uh, standard crap. They don't show you what comes in the, in the box, or do they? Okay, let's look at this picture. So, if we were unboxing this thing, we get this shitty I.O. shield which, God, I hate when they, you know, I like them so much more when they're built into this. This is just ugly. For the amount of money you're spending on these things, um, they really have not learned how to aesthetically make these computer motherboards look better. You'll get your driver disc. I suggest going online and getting it. Um, most of you don't even have freaking drives anyways, right? DVD drive, CD drive, Blu-ray drive, so this is a pain in the ass. Um, and it is a DVD. Here's your manual you'll get. I.O. Shield, you know, these little freaking tabs, they're annoying. 
Here's the size of the motherboard, 12 by 9.6, M.2 rubber. Got some standoffs. They give you four M.2s, which is nice. Maybe one bonus and two SATA cables. Um, that's it, folks. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like. Please subscribe.